to have a house is not easy for most of people in the world. The more we develop, it will be harder for people to be able to have a house. Because when we develop, we be more civilized. That means we monopolize more, we control more. So people cannot make a house easily anymore. And then the more we develop, that means we ruin our ability to make a house more and more and more. So now many people who have land, but they cannot afford to have a house. It's not easy for many people to have a land, also a piece of land. It's so hard, so expensive. More and more people don't have a place to stay. But to have a good place to live is important for everybody. And now the world changing so fast. We have to face a lot of drought. The temperature is hotter and hotter everywhere. We need a cool place to hide from the heat of the sun. And in the winter, it's colder and colder. We need a warm place to hide from the cold. But if we don't have a house, it's a big suffering. To have a house is the most important basic need in our life. Many people who have a choice to choose Many people who love to compete, love competition, who can make more money, they can have a choice, it's okay. But there's a lot of people who don't have a choice in their life. These people need to have choice. A chip is a kind of building. It's a kind of choice for people who don't have a choice. If we have land, and we want to build a house. A chip is a choice that we can choose. Because old tires, car tires, is everywhere in the world right now. Especially in developing country, in developed country. We have a lot of trash that come from the cars. But in many developing country, we use most of tires. In many places, we use old tires to make a bucket to hold the water. We can make a pot. We can make things from it. Even they use tires to burn the bodies in many countries. They use old tires as a wood, as a fire wood, to burn the body of human. But we still have a lot of tires everywhere. If we have tires. To build a house with old tires is one choice that interesting. It's very easy to do it. This is the first earth chip house that our family built together. We are not specialists. We have no experience, but we build this together. It's quite a big house. It's about 10 meters by 30 meters. And we use old tires, about 800, 800 tires total. It's quite a lot of tires. What we need is old tires and cardboard box. We put cardboard box in the tires, and then we fill up with dirt inside and tam it with sled hammer. Sled hammer is help to make it tight. And sometimes we use hook to pull it, the edge of the tire up and hit it better. And after that, we just make layers of layers of tires like this. And we keep going. Actually, it's quite fast if we uh, not worry much about the level. We can ignore the level of the building, but we can level at the top part of it. It will be easier in that way. We fill up many layers on top of each 
tires after that we get to the height that we want we just make the roof put the roof on the roof structure can be wood or metal it's okay whatever we have and then the roof for this building is tin roof because we get tin here after the roof done we need to do plumbing toilet pipe drainage pipe water pipe need to be ready the back side of the house we put a lot of dirt to cover it to make a berm so when we look from outside we can't see the house it look like a berm we make adobe bricks to make the interior wall because the interior wall we don't want it to be too big and in the same time in interior wall we want it to be thermal mass so it can hold better heat inside when it's cold it can release heat in the night time it's good temperature to plaster the tires we need to mix a lot of straw in the mud and then fill up the hole between the tires first and after that become the second layer to make it even this very easy to do after that we can plaster the interior wall which is easier than tires because interior wall is uh, it's not many deep hole in there so when we plaster it's more fun we need to finish electric system and in the decoration area before we plaster after that we can plaster everywhere as smooth as we can after we finish uh, plaster we need to wet for the plaster to be completely dry because when we paint we need a very dry surface to prepare the paint we need to sift it the sands we need very a lot of fine sand and clay color if we don't have clay color that we like we can we can use pigments to mix together normally clay color you can get almost everywhere but it will be the color that we like or not sometimes we maybe don't like it and then every time we need to do sample sample or the test of the color to see which one we like it most because clay color uh, there's no recipe we need to create our own recipe and then when we got the color that we like we can paint the whole thing Sometimes it's quite fun to create our own clay paint recipe. Sometimes we bring the straw to blend it to make it very fine and mix with the uh, clay paint and paint on the wall like this. Sometimes it looks special, look nice. And sometimes we experiment with the color in the area and mix with clay with the uh, pigments to get different color it make the texture look nice and smooth as we want clay color is something we can change it often if we don't like it we can looking for a new color because it's very fast and easy to make clay paint and then it doesn't take long time to paint the whole thing this is what we call truth window so people can see what is inside they can see the tiles inside after painting we prepare to making earthen floor this building is in the cold climate so we don't need to worry about the termites so we think about making earthen floor we need sand straw and mud the first we put blue board in the first layer to prevent coal to come up to the floor and then we put the mixture of clay and straw on top of the blue board level it very well and then after that we just after we level it very well we just let it dry completely to make it crack as much as they can and then we can come back second layer the second layer is the mixture of sand one part of uh, clay and two to three part of sand sifted very well and then we 
plaster on top of the floor and then make it as smooth as we can and let it dry again. When the floor dry, totally dry, we paint it with hot linseed oil to coat it to be waterproof and then to make it harder than normal. Paint with linseed oil at least two to three times. The outside tile walls to keep the berms there. We need to plaster with cement to keep it stay well in the rain and in the sun. We cannot plaster with dirt in this area. To make the house cheaper than normal, most of furniture in this house we use second hand. Uh, some of them are what people throw away. People here, they throw away a lot of stuff, so we can use a lot of free stuff or cheap. This solar heater water, uh, some people throw away, so we fix them and use them to make hot water to use in this house. We did not connect with the grid, so we rely on a solar panel, the whole house completely. We have a little bit of garden next to the window in the south facing side. Mainly, we grow some herbs that we use quite often in the house. This is how the house looked like when it was done. This house, there's about four bedrooms, two toilets, and one big living room, including kitchen in there, and a pantry, and we have garage, big garage behind the house too. So this very good house for, to, uh, for the temperature, because here we have snow seven months a year, but earth chip is very good to control temperatures in the house to make it stay warm longer. So it's very nice spot to, to live. Even outside it's very cold, but inside still warm. We have only two stove inside to uh, make the heat, make the house warm. But actually it's quite nice here. There are four people living in this house all year round. Even in the winter, it's so cold. Sometimes it's so cold for seven months, but they can live in here happily. This building uses very less concrete in the whole house. Mostly, we use mud in the area. We use, for the ceiling, we use beetle kill pine that we uh, got the wood in this area because here there's a lot of beetle kill pine everywhere and then we saw them and used them to make the ceiling for the whole house. It's very nice color and nice texture to see. This is the picture from outside to see the whole house. It's quite big and long house. And this is the whole family who are the main labor, the main person who help to build this house together. It takes about three years, but every year we spend only a month, about three months total. Of. There is a community of earth chips in New Mexico. This is the picture of some of the house in that area that you can see how it looked like. So most of this, all this house made from tires, bottle, and garbage, everything made from garbage mainly. And then earth chip is like a, a spare chip or the chip that you can have your own energy, your own food. You grow your own food in the house and then save energy, save, use water, uh, as effective as you can 
So this is the way to rely on ourselves in the house. In case of some crisis or something happen, we still have our own water, our own energy, and our own food inside. It helps us to survive better. So this is one way to get rid of the garbage in this world. It is so nice to have the warm house in the day that's very cold. When the weather is so bad, when we have warm space to hide, everybody shouldn't have a house. We need to come back to invent how to make house easy for everybody because it used to be easy for a very, very long time. <laughs>